here's the aftermath. Okay. Yes. I think he complained yesterday and I came today. Super English. Anyways. So. Hi. Random view to vlog. Vlog. So. Making some instant noodles now. Trying this one la from probably Ziqi. If you know her, I like watching her videos. Very artistic and very. Hmm, I don't know how to say. It's just very. It's like healing, I guess. Yeah, it's expensive though. One packet is like four dollars, but this is what you get inside. Minus this, this is from Nix Kang Shifu. You get a Fan Dou, the noodles, a Chu, Dou Ya Yi, throw it away. Tang Bao, Cai Bao, and a Jiang Bao. I guess the design is pretty nice. But paying so much for design, I'm not sure. He is getting Kang Shifu Xiang La Niu Rou Mian, and his what's this? Mi Zhi Rou Jiang Bao, Xiang Nong Tiao Wei Fen Bao, and this Cai Bao that he doesn't want, so I'm taking it. And also drinking this from Starbucks. It's the pink drink, which I really like. It tastes a bit like strawberry yogurt. Yeah, it went out of stock, and I was quite sad. Mm. Two pots, boiling water. Here's the aftermath. I get some wanto and added some wontons. Wanto and wonton same. Haha, it's not. And then uh, an egg, a lot of thai. I throw away the toya because it's toya. Then yeah, that's about it. The steamed hakaos there. Way past the best before date, but we will try it anyway. And he's comfortable with one egg sitting in the middle. And I think you need to stir it more. Yeah. Yeah. But anyways, verdict after trying the soup, I don't think it's worth four dollars plus. It has a it has a added something to the taste that like the rest of the sauce la fans I eat don't have, but I can do without that taste. So I'm just gonna go and buy my. Standard Chongqing Suan La Fen or something like that, one big packet one. Cheapest I can find and so far the best that I like. So yes, I will stick to that one. Maybe I'll put a picture here. What a rainy day. This kind of spoiled my plans. Had a lot planned for today because I wanted to bring her over here. She was here. Oh, she's here now. I wanted to bring her down for her walk. But it's raining, so I guess not. I wanted to clean up this balcony, and then I forgot to clip. I forgot to close the blinds again. Time to put take down the flag. Clean up this balcony, wash clothes. Next friends are coming over later tonight, so that and wash clothes and clean up this room. Actually, it's not clean up, more like pack up. Then I receive. A call yesterday that my Taobao shipment is coming today, twelve to two. So that's exciting, and then we have uh our Kickstarter back grinder is arriving next week. So that's extra exciting. Yes. Also, I cut my hair really short and bangs, but it doesn't look nice. So I just pinned it back up, and also. If you notice this mat, it's from Momo Me Japan. Which she likes to lie on. It's very nice and plush and soft. <coughs> like this is the three mm thick one. You know, three cm thick one. And Nick keeps wanting to remove it and put it somewhere else because he says this is very in the way. It's anti-slip, but you can see that if you sit on it long enough, it will actually push out the mat. But, but it's very nice to sit on. I accidentally kicked her when I first unboxed it <laughs> while running around, and she tumbled on it just fine. And also, she finally dared to jump from the sofa down because she knows this is like padded. That's good. <coughs> one bad thing is that most uh robot vacuums, like that one over there, can only Climb to cm, so it cannot get out this mat to suck it. I mean to vacuum it. So that's one of the cons, I guess. 
the other con is that it's slightly expensive but I have a discount code for you guys because this is a sponsored product for us to review I know this dog enjoying her chew on this mat <laughs> sometimes you just find her like outside here just lying here like she'll specifically come out from the aircon room to this room at night with no fan just to lie down here I don't know why it's quite funny brunch leftover blueberry muffin from Starbucks from two days ago Ice oat latte which I currently really like and I like to do it the dirty style which is pouring the espresso on top of the milk because I like the layers actually taste wise I think it's about the same one you once you stir it so I just like this color thing I was busy scrubbing the toilet walls because you know but then my top all came. <laughs> oh, they're fixing the rubbish chute outside. Because Nick complained that the soft closing is spoiled, so it's very noisy. I think he complained yesterday and then it came today. Super efficient. Anyways, six items. Uh, foldable table, two like file cabinets, and then that's... Uh, I actually don't know what that. And all my small items over there. Yay! Then this dog is here because she keeps barking. So when I put her on a high speed, she's not as... She, she's because she's worried so she will survive she will focus more on survival than anything else yeah so scared sad dog now hi guys unboxing time outside they are fixing the rubbish chute so it's a bit noisy wearing gloves cause it's dirty just tape it I'm not exactly sure what he wants a steam cleaner, but he said he saw his colleague get it and then he was like, I want it too and asked me to ship it in for him with this carry bag, I think cleaning cloth, blue scraper, gloves Wow, battery, not sure why you need that, the nozzle, the iron, uh, the metal brushes, two gold and one nylon, or oh, two nylon, uh, some another brush, and I don't know what's this, this thing. Manual. Oh, a spray bottle. This powder and a spray bottle. Another one with this uh, the power brick. And the machine itself. Oh I bought this, yes. It's the it's those like plastic foldable storage boxes that you can just um, they say you don't need to install because it's just like foldable then you just press it into place okay ah. I bought two of them yeah so it's just like you lift this up and then put the lid on top next time This one a bit tougher, but very well protected. This is basically an IKEA dupe for like half the price with wheels. Yeah, see, it literally looks like IKEA. Ah! Hey, we got hold on the other side one. It's stuck together. Another side with drawer fronts. Okay. 
I'm not sure what this is. Oh, another front. This is boring, so I'll take it apart later. A lot of my things are actually for my new shop. So I'm now doing uh, dog stuff with crochet. And then I ran out of a lot of yarn, so I bought a lot of stuff like for packaging, which are like boxes, which is this one here. Mochi placemats. So um, babies use this. Basically, it's a silicone placemat. Then. Yeah, so babies use this. So you can it's very easy to clean because it's silicone. We're getting this for her food and water bowl so that you know I can just wipe it off. And then I'm supposed to be cleaning the balcony, but I only ended up scrubbing finish the toilets. And I don't know if I can finish before they arrive. <laughs> so hmm, let's see. Yarn! My yarn is here. Look at my yarn. Yeah. This one is just boxes lah, but should I open this? This is a serious question because this is dirty, but then if I open it, all the boxes will fall apart. Mm. Let's see lah. Pretty good. Yeah, I thought about this two different sizes. Mm. Oh well, at least we tied it together. Sheng Tian Kit. Basically, it's just like uh, need, not need, um, Chinese friendship brand making thing. Bought magnetic buttons to try. I want to try something out, like new product, but need some buttons. And then they also give a free um, sewing thing. Oh, nice. Snap button set. What do you buy? Uh, heart shape. Oh, this one looks damn sweet, yeah. So thin! What the heck? Anyways... Yes, I actually made, bought it mainly for this. So if you buy this, they give you this for free. I wanted this more than this. Just trying out anyway, and it looks like shit quality. Hmm? What's this, ah? Uh? Cloth? Oh yeah, okay, these are uh, like coffee cloth. The waffle cloth, we call it. And give some free hooks. Jump rings and lobster class. Ah, they cook it like that. Oh, you can cook it, yes. Just like that. Then you can cook it. Yeah. So you can actually nail it to the wall. But why did you give three? Three before, at least. His mock kit for his watch. Looks pretty good. Shh. Oh, rubber bands for so thin. Dot hair ties. I expect it to be so thin and so small. Oh well. A Three containers I guess, but not very good quality. Can't be close roughly, what the heck. Yeah. Oh, super thin. Hmm? Oh, go ooh. Right, right, right. I bought this thing for my tea. <laughs> nice. So sort of vacuum pack. Okay, they start open. Yeah, okay. This is a stand. Wooden stand. Because I'm going to booth again at curbside. Then, uh, with my mom this time. So, I need a proper stand for displaying things. Ah, I stepped the wood. This one you can remove. Yeah. Quite solid, quite nice. No, that's what you can see. Yeah. Okay, these are baskets, right? Basically, this is also for my boofing thing and double subs as normal storage at home. Haha. 
use the collapsible baskets. Got two, the large size. It's the basically it's the you know when you buy blind boxes, freaking trash, rubbish collector coming. Smell is great. Uh, it's like when you buy those what's that, uh, blind boxes, then you collect those figurines. It's to display that. But I bought it to display my other things, which are like Gundam and all those. The small Gundam, the big one cannot fit. Yeah. Then got two of these, so that we don't have to keep wiping them down. I got plastic mess. Those trolley wrap for snacks. Oh, 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 I bought this. Uh, shit. I forgot. Is there, you know, the some Wang Hong very cheap plastic one? Then they say super good for storing stuff. Yeah. Free stickers. Yep, yarn. I think the, rub, the plastic broke. Damn it. Oh. <laughs> so cute. So small. Mini carabiners. Binos. Very long call them. Oh, so the plastic wear broke. Shit. More hair ties. Why are all them so thin one? Oh, wow. Like them thin eh. I can put two into one. Anyways, I'm collecting hair ties because I'm I want to test the hair tie quality so I can do scrunchies cups for my tea drinking I found the wrong side hello I didn't want to break the side of home <laughs> just wipe <laughs> yeah correct very pretty tea cup with like inbuilt tea strainer of course you want to drink tea Very pretty, but very expensive. It's like 35 bucks, I think. Oh, another bunch of carabiners, but these are like round. Spring clips. These are boxes, so shit. <laughs> these are paper bags. Aha, uh -huh. oops. So cute. Small one. Tagboard. Tagboard. Clips. It's a set one, so it, yeah. Hooks, but these are plastic. Uh, these are the gap setting to the cable. So I bought the cable version. Then tray and uh, more containers. Okay. Huh? You feel like that? <laughs> Skip of gloves. Last one. It really just like that. Okay, so all I need to do is just uh, this. And then this will connect here. Done. This thing can turn on. I don't think it's supposed to be turnable, but okay. <laughs> oh, got Allen key. Okay, I guess you can tighten. Oh, you're supposed to tighten it after you set. Ah, uh, okay, okay, makes sense. After being beaten up in the sun in the balcony, we should stay out here. It looks really bad. <laughs> Okay, so I threw all the boxes away, shifted the rabbits here, then the locker which people can put stuff, and then the shoe rack is now there. Looks a little plain suddenly, because I'm used to seeing something that's rather tall, like here. Because this locker used to be there, and then it was replaced by the rabbits, and then now it's like so short. But the good thing is you can just put your shoes like that. Yes. Anyways, then you have a dog here <laughs> and all the stuff that is currently filling up the entrance a lot of yarn there through all the spoons here as well and um, here here 
now it's 4.05 I will aim to finish building everything by 5 o'clock ow and then uh and then uh pack everything away so I guess I can't clean the balcony but I'll try to just wash the floor a bit and pack up the area and put her pee pad that is I mean her pee tray that is here down and uh, maybe clear out the stools or something yeah something simple I wanted to shift this outside to where the rabbits currently are but I guess not there's no space now oh well so while you're watching me uh, pack the stuff and fix up all the things that I just bought let's have a chat because that's boring uh, okay so <coughs> as you all know I quit my previous job like one year ago somehow I survived with no income for one year <laughs> I have no idea how but that's good I guess then so uh, but the thing is I'm running out of money and I still need to pay for my insurance and my own and all those stuff so I'm getting a new full-time job but as an interior designer so previously I was actually talking to Teng Hong Renovate like after uh, doing my house right because they happen to be looking for a junior sales designer or that's what they call um, yeah then that didn't work out because timing and I'm a client and stuff like that so ended up I didn't go with them and they didn't contact me so that's that then after that I found out that my uh, project manager Ming Con left Ting Ho and so I just reached out to her since while I was uh, getting her new contact number to update my vendor list I was also asking like hey are your guys hiring then because previously I was saying that I only wanted to do like a part-time job to try out because of my anxiety I didn't know how that would play into the thing so now my anxiety is really a lot a lot better like I rarely get attacks already so I feel a lot more settled and then I was thinking might as well try something that I want to try I guess because I don't really feel like going back to work in a software development role and I'm quite interested in uh, in interior design so previously when I was much younger I actually wanted to go to poly for interior design but I then for some reason decided that it was not a good prospect <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking then so I went into so I actually went to JC but I, I changed a lot I wanted to be a vet I wanted to Get, become an interior designer and then after that I wanted to do uh, art like digital media drawing as a thing as a, as, a, as a job but for some I decided that I, I will go to JC because I did the trial three month thing and I was like oh JC is not bad then yeah so I ended up in the JC and then uni route and I ended up going into design development and then now I am like let's try interior design Again, okay, so it's like one big circle. Anyways, so I'll be joining Darwin Interior under my previous contractor as her under her team. That's, yeah, so that's some update for you guys. And then my camera died while fixing up all these things. So, well. So these two are up. I think they are the Helmer Duke, if I'm not wrong, from IKEA. Then I uh, need to rearrange some stuff because it's a little bit lame but we forgot to measure that beam so it's either we lift up the whole table um, or we just leave with it sticking out slightly yeah then that's that quite good quite good I like this though and my camera died just now so our grinder arrived and yeah, I got most of the stuff cleared up. All my yarn can fit inside one of these, which is very good. And then this one cleaned up, removed, set up the collapsible baskets. We'll shift this into the room later, along with those. And clear up the trash over there. And that foldable table is going to the storeroom. And also need to move those boxes. Mm, yeah, mostly done. Sadly, it's 6.20. Ah, uh, <laughs> Welp. Also put all the snacks into the cart. Uh, this is extra long one that I should probably dismantle, but never mind lah. Huh? Anyways, shall unbox this. <laughs> Exciting. Why do I open 
this box. Can, can, can? No? No? Oh. Here it is, it's the Akko. We got the electric plus hand grinder. So the two in one, the electric countertop, and portable hand grinder. You can scan here to learn more. And single dose, not sure what single dose means. I think it's for hand pour. Capacity 50 grams. Manual, which we will need to read. And this is for, I think, disassembling. Oh, the lock. Okay. Yeah, there were some issues. I see they were reporting some issues with the grind size. Like some of it was grinding too coarse. So, yeah. Okay. This is the cap for the hand grinder. We got the UK plug because we UK. I mean, we use UK plugs, not we UK. We are not in UK. This is the grinder. Ah, uh, it's actually quite heavy. Then you can see all the grind size here. Normally, it's not so many, and it's not so like um, small. <laughs> As in, there's not so many minute. Oh shit, minute things. It's like normally one to twelve, I believe. Yeah, so you can. Oh, there's a lot of magnets. This is the part you put your beans. Wait, is that correct? No, you don't. You put your beans. You put your beans here. Sorry. This is the part you collect your beans. Oh, they tell you how much. Okay, nice. They tell you what to. Really strong, you hear that? Yeah, <laughs> can't take it out. Help. Okay. Oh shit. It's hard doing everything with one hand. Yeah, basically we got this because it's very slim, like compared to all the other grinders, and it's very minimalist. It fits in with our interior, and it's black. <gasps> oh, this is nice. Oh, the sound. Feels good. Oh, they have the thing. Nice. Uh. I will put it over there, I think. Maybe. Aim for today is to clear up this room. My friend actually kind of commissioned me to make his uh, explosion box, so I'm going to clear this room to, make, to find my paper craft so I can do that. Yes, yeah. aim for today. Trying out some new recipes today. This one is not new. This is the basically it's like the China Liang Ban. This appetizer for with cucumber and some sauce. Then tried some uh, rosti thing with egg yolk in the middle. <coughs> but I uh, don't look very nice. Sauce for that. Then this is like steamed chicken with uh, salt, pepper, well, garlic. Chili powder, thyme, and oregano. Yeah, trying that for the first time. Same over there with carrots for me. And then oolong tea here. It's a mismatch of whatever kind of cuisine there is. Hi. So it's 4th of October already. <coughs> and I wanted to do like a September vlog, but then I just filmed the unboxing and then the week after that I was gonna have like a lot of things like uh, friends coming over and going to Nick's uncle's place for like a potluck and then 
all that planned out and then I got COVID so nothing there was no video because it was just resting and then my September vlog idea became nothing much so you're just gonna get the remnants of that but I did repack this area okay minus all this stuff in front but I shifted some of these and then added the grinder here and we still need this thing because this cable is too short so it needs the sand to reach that and this is like the max already so yeah then I got that little white not so good quality shelf thing I decided to put it here they can hold my Lenovo Google Home assistant thing my pot holders and just some nonsense at the bottom and then I put some uh, Dumbo here but Nick made it like that not sure what it's supposed to be doing but yes so I want to move this actually to the service yard which I'll show you later I also repack that area then yeah so coffee beans an empty one <coughs> as for the grinding it's actually pretty loud but it's very sleek as you can see, and then this is a magnetic dosing cup. It's actually quite strong. So this is already like made for 58mm water filters, but this is 51, so it doesn't work. I have to pour it manually. And you can also turn the clicks here. And then this is uh, mounted onto the electrical grinder part. You can actually detach it from the thing but I don't really want to check in um, but I need two hands okay so just turn the line and then pull it <coughs> then you can add your hand grinder attachment and then use it, use it as a hand grinder it's actually very heavy yeah so um, after using this versus like some of the more de normal looking grinders because this is from kickstarter right and then one thing i realized is that a lot of the normal grinders is you can store the beans at the top and then you set a timer for it to run that's like how long you want to grind for with at, <coughs> at the whichever grind setting this one is just different so it's basically you pour the beans in and then you turn on and then you listen for like the sound difference to like know when the thing is done grinding because you can hear the, the grinding and then the sound changes so it's supposed to reach this this sound then you know it's done because if you put beans in you can hear like then um yeah so i have to keep checking the weight of the the beans after it's ground to see if it's like all the beans but this machine seems to like eat some and then put it back in the next round so yeah that's one of the bad things i guess but it's very sleek and it's portable but I don't need the portability anyways yeah and it's pretty cheap like 500 plus for a pretty good grinder with a lot of settings then go up to 3 rounds and then yeah okay so moving on to the service yard okay so we don't want to move the ninja because it's too big and heavy and then I already was added an uh, extension plug. Uh, the previous one that was here, I, I moved it to the room so I had to get Nick to buy another one. Then, um, so I want to put the toaster here then, but then it was, uh, the cable was too short. So I had to move it back out, so it's still there now. Uh, yeah, so the rice cooker, steamer, dehydrator that is still here, and then thermal pot, yeah and spags that didn't fit in the fridge so I just cleaned up this area a bit they used to have a lot more junk here then I also repacked this area where this rice thing used to be outside and then because uh, it's actually quite tall so you can see it barely fit in here because of this so it cannot go under here it will, it will lift up this board so that's why we moved it out because the water filter is in the cupboard below so we asked them to shift the the hole here up so that it can fit the water filter height which is just nice for this but then it made cooking rice a bit annoying because you have to go outside to 
get the rice to come here to put inside the rice cooker after washing. So putting it here makes more sense. And then pasta is also here, which I still need to rearrange a bit. And then this is the steam lid for the ninja with the Nova at the back. <coughs> and these are just a lot of dried parsley that I repacked into bottles. These Nongfu Cha Pai bottles are very good because it's like squarish. Yeah, waffle maker. The very old school pot over there and then our oil bottle that we use to refill. And all these are just like random things. Garment steamer. Compost bin. This is the washing machine. The mini washing machine. Yeah. So it used to have one more all these drawers here, which is for the Xiaomi induction cooker for steamboat, which also didn't make sense because we don't put we don't cook anything here. And that one's only for steamboat, which is normally done outside. So I shifted I swapped the positions of the rice rice and the Xiaomi steamer. So that's that. So this area is really now all full of like appliances. So if I do shift the toaster here, it will really be full of appliances. Then I'll have more space outside for um, coffee things. Also I went on a dehydration spree again for dog things. Uh, these are like chicken chips. So it's uh, basically, I bought chicken breast. Eh? They asked me to use chicken breast, but I use chicken fillet. Then blend it, so basically like you know, mince it up, <coughs> and then you just um, get make them into balls, and then put them on a parchment paper, and then use another parchment paper to flatten it out into like very thin layers, and then dehydrate them for about five hours, and it becomes like chips. So the dogs love it, but I think it's a little bit big. So the next one I'm gonna make is like very small, smaller, so at least they don't take so long to eat it, and one chicken fillet packet gives me like two boxes of worth of these chips which is pretty good this is the other thing that I made so I actually made a uh, dog mooncakes with chicken ground chicken breast and waisan and then there's like three different flavors so it's ground chicken with waisan uh, ground chicken with pumpkin and then ground chicken with sweet potato, the purple one and then the outer layer, the skin right, is just made of what is it made of? goat's milk and pumpkin yeah so this is the white one, this is actually totally okay to eat for humans cause it's just goat milk powder white sun and pumpkin powder uh, no salt or anything because dogs can't do that but yeah this one was supposed to be prettier piping but uh, my Hoisan wasn't fine enough so it clogged up the piping tip so I just ended up scooping everything into like dollops and then it became like that <coughs> well, I think I'd rather make this this more fun yeah so that's why I have a bunch of these here it's for making dog things <laughs> <coughs> The drawers came in here, so one is here, and then the other one is here. I put all the accessories stuff that I need for my normal working, which includes this mesh of stun, this mesh, mess, stash, this stash of yarn, and then more yarn here, and then that bag that I actually want to sell. <laughs> <clears throat> and after packing, it's like that, which I actually still not done packing, like all these are empty. There's a bunch of empty boxes lying around that I can use to fill more things. But I actually want to get more of these, because these are actually really good in storing things, so I can get like another one or two more, then I can go up somewhere around here, then I can store more things. Yeah. So now my table is a mess again because I was helping my friend do this, his explosion box for his anniversary. Uh, yeah, can't show the box because it's uh, gone. I did film the thing but because there's photos and he doesn't want to show his face or his girlfriend's face so I can't show the box. Yeah, I just need to pack this up <coughs> and then yeah, pack all these up actually. And also, like I was mentioning earlier, that uh, I got a new full-time job. But I'm still continuing my barista, because Starbucks said I can do once a week. 
uh, Hook is more ad hoc basis depending on when I'm free So I'm starting a new full-time job as an ID with Darwin Interior that is starting tomorrow So I'll update the vendor list with uh, my contact as well If you want to follow me or Jaya Because <coughs> I'll be in under Jaya's team as like her junior I guess Yeah. So I'll just add contact details below and also in the vendor list mm -hmm. See you